I'm going to be talking about the new technology from AccuFocus, which is the IC8 Small Aperture IOL. Um, about 10 years ago, AccuFocus developed the first surgical procedure for the correction of presbyopia using small aperture optics. Um, and this was to be able to extend the depth of focus, providing a clear range of vision from far to near. Um, and this was done by implanting the device into the non-dominant eye. Um, this product is currently being actively reviewed by FDA right now, and uh, I have to say this, I, I have to applaud both the level of the review and the urgency of the FDA uh, on this. It's truly really been outstanding. But what's happening now is uh, we're going to be moving to take this product from the corneal plane to the uh, lens plane, to the intraocular plane, and that's by way of the IC8, to be able to allow cataract patients to derive the same benefits. The first implant was done back in 2011. In 2012, we did a proof of concept study with a silicone version of the IOL. We got really great results that encouraged us to move forward with a one-piece hydrophobic acrylic uh, product, in which we did another proof of concept with that product. And in 2014, both the inserter and the ICA received CE mark, and the product is undergoing a uh, post-market approval study in Europe right now. As I mentioned, the IOL is made from a, a hydrophobic acrylic material with basically the same mask material as is in the inlay. However, it's been resized to go from the corneal plane to the IOL plane uh, to have the same degree of benefit. Um, one of the things, too, is it still has uh, the microperforations. In this case, the microperforations are not there to be able to allow diffusion of nutrients through the cornea, but to actually aid in the foldability of the IOL and to uh, um, be able to have a nice small uh, incision. Now, this was done, this uh, is defocus comparison, and there's a couple things that I'd like to really point out here. On the top is the defocus curve done on the bench top with the IC8. And what we're able to see here is that the range of vision that I was talking about, that really as you increase the defocus, the range of clarity tends to be maintained compared to the standard monofocal, which is in the middle. And in the bottom is actually multifocal types of optics. And whether it's bifocal or trifocal, you have a clear image that is superimposed on an out-of-focus image. And that creates uh, two things. One is it creates uh, uh, dysphotopsia, and it also creates the contrast loss, which is seen in, in, in the graying. Now, what this shows is the depth of focus, and there's a couple things that, that I want to talk about relative to this slide. First of all, you can see compared to the fellow eye, which has a monofocal in it, that the range of uh, defocus is significantly increased. And if you look at the broadness of the peak of that curve, you see that it does another thing, and that is, is it allows the surgeon the ability to be off in the uh, end point, of the refractive end point, and still be able to provide very good vision. These data indicate uh, the near visual acuity that we're seeing, and we uh, are getting about 89% of the eyes achieve J1 or better uh, with the targeted correction. Now, what we're doing is, with this is that we intended to go with about a minus 0.75 target. However, we found that we're able to go actually quite a bit less. And these data show that about 100% um, that about of the patients are achieving 20, 2025, and whether it's uh, in uh, near vision or in distance vision with the target correction in place. One of the things that uh, is, is often thought of is whether or not they're, what the symptoms are. And what we're able to see is the dark blue bars on a scale of zero to seven, seven being severe. Uh, the dark blue bars are the IC8 compared to the monovision um, or the monofocal. So what we're seeing is that it's the same type of procedure as normal when uh, implanted. And the other type of question that is asked often is what about posterior segment? So we've done several things. One is we've done um, a study in which we're looking at uh, certain types of visualization. 
and then we've done animal surgeries as well. So the uh, product seems to work very well in terms of not preventing any types of problems with uh, that. So we're saying that uh, we're getting really, really exciting results from this, and uh, we're looking forward to moving forward on the process. Thank you.